Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to be revisiting a fragrance which is Hype Beast, Hype Monster uh, by certain fragrance reviewers. This is Mont Blanc Individual. Yes, you don't need to watch this video if you already know A to Z. Of course, I assume you do. But uh, <clears throat> I recently got a backup bottle of it and my older bottle was running low. And I always like these 75 mils. They only come in, uh, I think, 50 and 75 ml if, if I'm not mistaken if there's a 30 or smaller bottle I don't know so this fragrance I have a lot of memories with this is not my first bottle <clears throat> I went through multiple bottles of it like in my university college years I did review it a couple of times five years back two years back uh, so I heard recently it got discontinued and you know a uh, lot of fragrances I'm picking up nowadays as a backup bottle like Sikari Reveal uh, then fragrances like Burberry's London, the older version, or Hugo Boss Bottle Intensity Peak, fragrances like that. So just a small discussion, if it's still relevant or what's so special about it, was it just hype, uh, what is this fragrance like, if by any chance you are just uh, watching this fragrance review for the first time or <clears throat> you don't know about this fragrance as a new entrant, okay? So this fragrance individual uh, is a fragrance, my journey with this perfume, it's like since my university days. This was one of my first fragrances I got as a <clears throat> thing as a gift from my parents and uh, during uh, perhaps one of my birthdays when I was in my think what I don't remember it was like a long time back so this was way before fragrance reviewing community and all those started so this was there with Lacoste Purom, Hugo Boss Bottled, uh, Lacoste Styling Play you know back in the time Hugo Energize uh, Hugo Boss in motion. Uh, there are a lot of fragrances back in the MCK1, Daniel Desired. So this is from that era. And I, to be honest, you know, this Lacoste Purum, I did not pick up any difference between those these fragrances that much because they all smell sweet. I did not have a clue of, uh, say, notes, season and whatnot, designer niche. I had no clue. Even nowadays, uh, we know a lot about fragrances, but still we do not know everything. So Mont Blanc individual, this one was a cheapy, to be honest, if you can use that term. Uh, this is an affordable perfume. When I saw this first time, this was around well under $30. I think people were selling it for $25 here for this big bottle. And slowly, you know, with the hype, everything, it did not really peak the price like uh, something like Midnight Paris did or some other fragrances did. This fragrance did not shoot the price that much. These Burberry's, they stayed almost the same. But recently, uh, they released a fragrance called Explorer, which is getting a lot of sales, a lot of love in the community because it's similar to... I think uh, Aventus but this one they recently discontinued alongside I think Star Walker as well but they have some good fragrances legend line this line and uh, Mont Blanc has some other lines so is this still relevant so this what you get from this is it's a very legendary perfume some people compare it again with Yopom the pink juice let me show you I think uh, I have it somewhere there yes sorry I had to get up this legendary juice Let's just keep it here the people compared with that but i feel they are not really same perfume they have the differences and this is a lot more sweeter and thicker where this is more dressed up version if you smell them side by side and this one features cinnamon and florals and then they said creed made original santal inspired being inspired by one blog individual so they said uh, that one is a clone of this so <laughs> all those discussions make this very interesting jeremy hyped it to the death you know like <coughs> people he said this is the best fragrance i remember you know like if you forgot already i followed jeremy since my 2014 15 years like 15 year but uh, at that time before he released this perfume this was his number one hype every single list Mont Blanc individual number one the best perfume in the world then his perfume came out everything else became trash <laughs> his fragrance became number one but the thing is it already picked up the sale so Mont Blanc Individual was a fragrance, it was a very silent fragrance, you know, let me just tell you, I never felt it more than 7 out of 10, okay, I liked it enough, I liked the smell, I liked that, uh, it smells like, he he said fabric softener with raspberry and whatnot, but I get kind of like a metallic, mild spicy, sweet, sandalwood, same thing you get from original Santal, and it does have a little bit of metallic floral kind of a smell, okay. So it's good for cold weather. It's very beastly, long-lasting in the cold weather. It's really like this thin bottle. It's very unique. And Mont Blanc also have their pen and watch. So combined, the house actually has a good impact on me. I really have 
uh, massive respect for this house. I do enjoy Star Walker, which I'm going to buy back a bottle of. So they are very pleasant perfume. And for the price, what they offer, no complaint. But due to the hype, what happened is people start having expectation like this fragrance has to be like what Creed Aventus is, you know. So you cannot do that, guys, you know, because this fragrance does not cost as much as the other fragrance. Just because the hype, some people are hating it. If there was no hype, people found it naturally. They would say it's fine. It's not bad. It's not good. It's like, you know, it's okay. I don't mind it. It's a good fragrance to gift because it's affordable. So all these angles. So now, because the discontinuation is going to pick up price, I think so, because the hype is there in the community. Unfortunately, once this fragrance starts getting a little bit scarce, like Bangladesh, we still have a lot of bottles of this, but prices have gone up. It's now uh, previously used to be under $30, $25. Now I think it's <clears throat> over. Uh, it's reaching like $40 mark. Okay. And before you know, if the bottle, let's say, sellers cannot find anymore, it's going to go around 50, 60, you know, it's going to go up. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, this fragrance right now, uh, if you really like this fragrance, if you always used it, like for me, I always used it. I always want to keep it in my collection. See if bottle level goes this much. I want to have a backup bottle because of my memory. But other than that, this fragrance is not, it's a fragrance that, you know, you really have to buy out of hype. Okay. This is not the 10 out of 10. It's never going to be a 10 out of fragrance, okay? Good fragrance, good long-lasting perfume, uh, smell decent, cold weather is really good, and it's good for many occasions. You can wear it absolutely everywhere. Nice bottle. But uh, apart from that, this is not going to be uh, Dior of Intense, Perfection 10 out of 10, that one, or Bleu de Chanel EDP. Um, it's not going to quite reach that. But if you talk about affordable perfume as long as it's affordable you can definitely buy a bottle and you can just have it as a backup you know you can spray it once in a while if you do not feel that way do not buy it out of hype that i'm gonna buy and sell it later for 150 bucks it's not gonna do that perhaps it will gonna go to 50 40 bucks that's my assumption so overall good fragrance and uh worth of hype and everything hype is one thing reviewers do their own thing but this perfume it's a decent perfume for the price very very good selection uh Anything from this house is really good. Mont Blanc Legend line, Legend uh, Intense, then Legend Spirit, Legend Night, all good fragrances. Even Star Walker and this, I would say, really good perfumes. So if you really like this fragrance, you can do yourself a favor. Keep one back a bottle. If you don't like it, you sell it later. It's okay. But it's not something I would recommend that go and buy because of the hype or discontinuation. Okay, so that's my ultimate word. Uh, does it decent fragrance? I'm going to maintain my 7 out of 10 as always okay so good fragrance above average because the price is good but there are fragrances which are <clears throat> you know you know you can get much better fragrance nowadays i would say ck reveal is a better fragrance than this okay calvin klein so anyway that's about it thanks for watching guys and uh, time to move on to the last review see you bye bye